Hello, Liberty. I'm here with another 2020 Senior Spotlight. Today's guest is not a senior, but is our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Sullivan. Hi, Dr. Sullivan. How are you? Hi, Ms. Fuentes. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very good. Very good. Just keeping busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? <laughs> how, how are you doing? How's it going for you uh, with your social distancing and being quarantined? Uh, it's, I guess it could be a lot worse. It's nice to actually spend time with the family because we know how our schedules get with all of us as students, I'm sure. And for the faculty and anyone else is to spend time with the family is always nice. Um, there's a lot of quiet time at night, um, that I get to read a lot. So uh, that is a bonus. Um, but it's, it's challenging, but I think like anything else, we make the best of what we have and, and go from there. Yeah. So I'm making sure to keep my in my mind to keep going with that. Yeah, you have to find all the, the good that's coming out of it, because if you focus on the bad or the tough parts of it, this could be a really, really difficult situation. Yeah, no, this is true. So we're talking about the seniors and um, everybody I'm asking them. You know, when you think about this senior class, the class of 2020, is there anything, are there any memories that you have of them that you'd like to share? I, I have a couple, um, some that were created this year, um, but I, I believe, as I'm thinking back, as one of the students, I remember um, I, I like said hi to me the other day, and he struck my memory that I was the principal, so in Summer school, ironically, for Sullivan County BOCES, there was some students that, you know, maybe made some mistakes in eighth grade um, that attended uh, summer school. And I, I remember um, the Liberty students uh, in that when I was the principal of the Sullivan BOCES academic summer school, the Liberty students were probably some of the most polite, kindest uh, students. And they had such great senses of humor, actually. Um, and they gave, you know, they were always on class, always on time with their classes and, and going from there. So that's an interesting memory. And then I think for me, since I was in the middle school last year, of having the chance to spend some more time in the high school and seeing some great things, let it be athletic, the extracurriculars, um, just checking out. And I've seen Color Wars, but just seeing what this team, uh, this, this grade has done. Um, with all those sense, I think those are some great memories that we always want to, and, and I'm sure Ms. Fuentes, you have the same thing. We kind of just take our mental snapshots for each group that we want to remember and, uh, and, and just embrace and, and celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They, they have done a lot here in Liberty. I think, um, they're a pretty special kind of class for sure. Um, is there a message that you have for, this senior class or any senior class really when they're graduating and getting ready to leave their comfortable little home here in Liberty, um, which is very tight knit. What's your message to these graduating seniors? I think even though leaving Liberty, but knowing and, and having the privilege of being a part of Liberty, um, Liberty is a unique place because we have so many different types of uh, people who have different perspectives on, on life, um, which really this, you know, it's a smaller school, uh, but there's a lot of different experiences. And, and with that, I think our students will see that they are uh, more prepared for beyond Liberty um, than they realize. But also, I think it's really important for the students to always remember and realize um, that it's those challenging things and those goals that you don't reach right away that really build your character. And I don't want to sound too cliche, but in a sense is for those students that, that um, and, and, and those graduates is you're going to hit roadblocks and embrace those and learn from them because they, they really help you as, as you move forward and just continue to uh, lead yourself on a path where, where you see yourself. And I think that is, is some uh, helpful information is because I learned more from my, I don't want to say failure, mistakes, roadblocks, uh, when I was told no, 
in some situations than anything else. So embrace, embrace those and, 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 uh, and learn from them and, and move forward. And, and I think many members I've met from this class uh, will do that. And, and a lot of them do do that, especially dealing with what they're, they're dealing with right now. Yeah, I, I do think that this is, um, it's awful. I know in a lot of ways, and I, I think back and I'm like, oh man, if I had lost my senior year of high school, I'd be pretty angry because I went to Liberty and I loved every second of my senior year. Um, but I think they're learning some really important things right now that are invaluable. And I think that it'll, it'll in the end, I think make a huge impact on them um, and, and for the good in a lot of ways mm -hmm. um, and, and make them possibly even more prepared for what the real world is like. I agree. That's a very valid statement. And, and I think, um, all of us from this, and hopefully, because you know, history does repeat itself. As uh, you know, hundred so years ago, there was a similar situation. But uh, regardless of that, I think for all of us, the students, and, and just us, um, the the faculty, and anyone, is to just remember to again to always just care and be kind for one another. Because you know, with things that are taking place, that we always have to make sure to appreciate um, you know everyone that we have that supports us. Uh, in life. So I think that's another item that, that I, I think this group will probably realize and, and that definitely uh, appreciate more and more as they go through, because this is something we'll never forget. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining me in my little interviews here. Um, I appreciate it very much. And thank you for inviting me and, and being able to be a part of uh, the 2020 class experience with this. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much, Dr. Sullivan. All right. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.